Welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us here on Morning Live. Now, uh, the Reserve Bank Governor, Lusicho Khanyaho, uh, has been confronted by questions about the, the Reserve Bank's independence among a host of issues being addressed at the SA Tomorrow Investor Conference in New York. He spoke exclusively with SABC on the sidelines of the summit and uh, he spoke to our correspondent, Sherwin Rice, please outside the palace hotel here in manhattan new york city of course the venue for south africa's uh, tomorrow investor conference one of the uh, leaders of the south african delegation is none other than south africa's reserve bank governor lesetje Hanyaho. he joins me now governor good to see you again take us into some of the discussions you've had uh, I've, I've heard from some of this uh, some of those in the room that there was a great deal of concern about the reserve bank's uh, independence how did you address that matter uh, in essence, I mean, this is the fifth time this conference is held uh, and it's meant to position South Africa as an uh, investment destination. And you are basically having uh, the top 40 JSE listed companies um, uh, which uh, come here. They have got uh, investors from all over the United States. And what this conference does is that it reduces uh, the U.S. Uh, to one city because these investors come from uh, everywhere to participate in this uh, uh, in these conversations and of course one of the things that are that has been uh, uh, coming here came as a result of us positioning South Africa because the key strength of South Africa is the strength of its institutions and a question then came about the independence of the South African Reserve Bank and whether it is uh, uh, under threat and my uh, straight message is that the independence of the Reserve Bank is not under threat because the Reserve Bank's independence is entrenched in the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa. But importantly, that the independence of the Reserve Bank was captured in the original constitutional principles, which means that if there is an amendment on the Constitution, that amendment must still be certified by the Constitutional Court. And if it is inconsistent with those original constitu uh, constitutional principles, it is not going to pass the at a constitutional master. Governor, this is an investor summit, right? Some of the topics here is rebuilding confidence that South Africa remains open for business. One of the discussions you were part of, monetary policy developments in the context of lowering infl inflation, uh, possible consequences of sovereign debt downgrades. Mm -hmm. Can you take us into the room again? I mean, what did you say in terms, Moody's is in South Africa right now. There's a great deal of concern that they will downgrade South Africa to junk status. What are the implications of that? Well, if um, uh, South Africa gets downgraded, uh, that would mean that uh, we will now uh, have less than two investment grade ratings in terms of our uh, domestic currency denominator debt. That would mean that we fall out of some of the key uh, bond indices and a lot of the investors that we have been talking about here are invested uh, uh, in South Africa. They are tracking this uh, a bond index, the world government bond index is the most important one. If we fall out of that uh, uh, bond index, it means that some of these investors will have to liquidate their positions um, uh, uh, in South Africa. So if they do that uh, and the currency depreciates, you might have uh, rising inflation. And um, But at the same time, we might be attracting other forms of uh, investment that investment is going to be investment of a speculative nature which means that south africa is going to be faced with more volatile capital flows than we have seen in the past so what is the i mean are you guys talking as a south african delegation as a business delegation are you talking from the same page here what is the case for investors to invest in south africa today well, i know you're going to talk about fiscal consolidation um, the tightening of monetary policy under your leadership what else needs to happen for people to feel more confident about investing in south africa today it's no it's no rocket science. I mean, the stuff that you have talked about, we can talk them, tell them about the strength of our institutions, the strength of our judiciary, that our democracy is functioning, and all of that. They are aware of all of that. Bottom line, confidence, business confidence in South Africa is low. And with business confidence low, investment does not take place. With investment not taking place, growth slows down. With growth slowing down, the economy sheds jobs. And with jobs shared, there is even more uh, unemployment, which means that we are not making progress mm -hmm. in um, uh, uh, getting rid of, um, uh, of poverty. But when we look at um, what uh, the South Africa asked the question, are we speaking with one voice? Of course we are, uh, we are speaking with one voice. Um, 
the easiest stimulus that this economy can have is to restore uh, that business confidence. And restoring the business confidence means dealing with issues such as uh, corruption. There must be a few people who uh, are um, uh, accused of corruption that have got to be put through um, a trial, charged or something they like that to demonstrate, to demonstrate, to demonstrate that these institutions that we say are strong actually are not just strong. That the institutions that must enforce the law in South Africa have got teeth. Because remember, a failure to implement the laws that are there could actually lead to uh, suspicions that South Africa is not based on the rule of law. Fair. And we know. Let's take an example. Country, Let's take an example. Uh, the uh, Judicial Commission of Inquiry, uh, the purported Commission of Inquiry into uh, the South African Revenue Service. What's your understanding of that? What's your understanding of what is going on in SARS right now? You will be speaking to the Minister of Finance later today and he can answer that. But I am speaking to the Reserve Bank Governor. The Reserve Bank Governor is responsible for monetary policy and not for tax policy. So you have no view then on, on some of the allegations that are made in South Africa's Reserve Bank. Would you, for example, welcome a judicial... The Minister, the Minister of Finance has announced a digital commission of inquiry. I think you should speak to him about it. Let me ask you a couple more questions. You talk about uh, the need for... for, for uh, better business confidence in South Africa. You talked about uh, the strong uh, business delegation from South Africa. What's your sense of the relationship between government and the business sector in South Africa, given concerns, for example, around the mining charter? We see the Chamber of Mines is here. You talk about talking about it, speaking from the same page. Is it really? Are you really speaking from the same page, given the two entities I've just mentioned? Well, you, you asked whether here we are talking on the same page. We are talking on, uh, uh, from the same page from, uh, uh, from where we are. But when I talked about restoring business confidence, sorting out those uncertainty with respect to mining licenses, sorting out the stuff around the, uh, the mining charter, I know now there is a, a court process and hopefully the courts uh, pronounce themselves and they give certainty uh, with respect uh, with respect to, uh, uh, to the sector. Those kinds of things have got, uh, have got to happen. But put simply, this time last year we were here in new york team south africa was in very high spirits there was oozing, 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 was there was oozing <laughs> confidence between government and uh, uh, and business the mood is different from uh, from last year there is no doubt that there is a trust gap now between the private sector and uh, government government is the main interlocutor here and government uh, is the set the rules government is uh, the referee that makes sure that it arbitrates against uh, amongst the competing interests uh, in society and government has got to be seen to be acting not just fairly but government has got to be acting in the best interests of all south africans how would you define the success of a trip like this Final uh, success of a trip like this uh, would be these investors who we are uh, talking uh, to here, staying invested, uh, but also more importantly, that those who still had an interest in investing in South Africa and have not yet invested, actually do commit their funds to South Africa. Governor, good to see you. Thank you for coming to speak with us in the cold of New York City. Governor telling me that it's 30 degrees Celsius in South Africa. What am I suggesting by taking him outside? The governor of South Africa's Reserve Bank, Leseja Khanyaho, speaking about South Africa's Tomorrow Investor Conference here in New York City.